Today has the potential to be an enormous day. Catch Josh trickling back there, putting some chemicals on the sprayer. We got the seed tender out. We have one corn planter in the shop ready to go, and we have the other corn planter coming out. But the low man on the totem pole, I still have to go deliver hay. So maybe when we get back, we'll see some equipment running. I'll be out after my hay day. 200 bales of teff going out this morning. It's only like a 10 minute drive, so not too bad. I should be back in plenty of time. I am 100% absolutely okay with not being the first guy in the planter or the sprayer today because um, uh, they're certainly, they're going to get in the field and spend about an hour setting up the computer and, and things like that. I have no doubt in my mind. So I don't want to be that guy. I'd rather just be loading hay up and I'll come take over when they got things already good to go. We get to take the cat home on this, this return trip. Good way to start the morning, 200 bales up in that loft, but the owners of this barn were champions. They jumped right into battle with me like we've known each other forever, so it's good to see. Hay brings everyone together. That's one of the things I like about it. What are you doing? Doing stuff. You're yeah. here pretty early for a weekend. I know. I forgot what day it was. What are you throwing what off, 28? Today? Friday? Today's Saturday. No. Yeah. Don't worry, I already delivered a load of hay. That's good. I already did a bunch of other stuff. 200 bales into a probably a 10 foot loft. Oh yeah? Yeah. Bang your head? No. No, I had to throw them. Oh. Yeah. I'd rather be banging my head. <laughs> Does the be pump work? My head. We got a leak going, I think. No, that's water. Oh. Yeah. Would this be fixed? Uh, hey Carl, what are we up to? Hey, there's yours. Yours is for him. I don't know. What are we up to? I don't know. You don't know. Come on, you're Johnny. driving something. Johnny, that's Johnny Yaris mowing grass <sighs> back there. What are we taking to the sprayer? Hey, people are dying to get into this, buddy. <sighs> Need a big pump up. Carl, what are you pulling? Chicken. I don't know. Water? A dodge. A dodge. No, you're shaking. you're driving a dodge. What are you pulling? It's shaking. It's shaking. My hair out. They're, what? Just, they're first going into the field. They're first pulling in. Sam, get them up here to spray it. The sprayer's up ahead of us. <laughs> no place, nowhere to go. Where can I go, buddy? You got it. Right here? You got this, buddy. Watch, wait for cars. It'll be good if you wait for cars. Go from one to the other. Yeah. I guess. So we got the... We got the water tank. We're here to fill Joshy up with water. He's about to put down they some the 24D and Roundup. I think they're probably checking uh, how Take wet out. it is.
today is a pretty cool day. We're sending Josh down to pick up all the tanks to finally set up our spray rig so we're official. So no more just bringing tiny 1200 gallon nurse tanks out here. We're gonna have a couple big tanks on here, an inductor, all the chemicals strapped down. And this will be the new official spray rig. 48 foot drop deck setup. So we're pretty excited, getting official. Ooh, baby. I don't know why all our guys like to low ride so much. Oops. Come on. There we go. Now we're getting some air. Cha-ching. Boom. All right. Pressure, high enough. Rolling. Check out that rig, baby. I'm gonna head over here and I'm gonna put some, uh, we gotta put some more ratchet straps in it to secure the load down and fill it up with fuel. So. She fits in here, when this barn's finally clean, you can pull trucks right in. All right, what are you going to do, buddy? Get some tanks. For what? For the sprayer. We're gonna have a spray rig? Spray rig, yeah. Do you have to drive the sprayer and the tank? Yeah, probably oh, both. Okay. At the same time. <laughs> You can handle this truck? Yeah, I mean, I'll try. I handled it the other day. Jamming. Somebody has to grind gears around here. If it's not you, it's gonna be me. What are you doing, Sam? Oh, we gotta make sure all these tires are filled up. Why? Nobody likes a flat tire. So your, your big gauge job didn't work, huh? No. No. <laughs> Did you hear something? She's ignoring me. How come you're here so early? Sam, did you hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> me either. <laughs> Things are just weird. Never be naked again. So I'm looking at something super exciting. I don't know if I want to show it to you. I'm just kidding. Here it is. Lo and behold, Miller Farms Custom Customize semi spray rig. Check this baby out with the beautiful Kenworth out front pulling it. Oh, jeez. I will have to give you guys the complete rundown on this, but right now it's going to rain tonight and I can't let this gorgeous, beautiful rig sit outside, so we better throw this in the barn. And I'll show you guys how we load up the Haggy. Make sure she's plugged in, red on red, black on black. Hey, where's your gloves? Oh.
Red to red? I don't know if we should start. Roundup's going in hot. <laughs> One more barrel of COVID, buddy. This is a very important job. Shutting the pump off. Right now, I'm about to follow Josh down the road. Uh, he's gonna go burn down about a 160 acre piece. It's, geez, probably eight minutes down the road by sprayer travel. He's uh, partially loaded, so the sprayer by default's only gonna let him go about 20 miles an hour. I'm pretty sure it throttles him back to that speed. Uh, when he's empty, you can get rolling at 40 miles an hour, but he's nice and close, so we just filled up at the farm. It's not a big deal halfway. Um, Unfortunately, I'm homebound right now, or at least for the most part. I got some more hay pickups coming. So my childhood buddy, Matt Sustak, I hope he lets me use his name on camera, is going to follow me down there, and he's going to try to run the drone because we're finally going to get you some drone footage of this bad girl in action. So we'll see how that turns out. I'll get down there. I'll try to explain a little bit about what he's going to do. Uh, if I can think ahead, maybe identify the headlands he's going to run. Uh, I'll give you an idea of what products he's putting down, how that's all happening, and we'll be good to go. See, he's hard. Man, he's hardly got room on either side. Good thing we're in uh, quarantine corona mode or people would be cussing him out big time. trench we got here. This is like World War One type stuff. Wow. A little bit of drone action. Alright we got Josh's big spray day going. Yeah. He is putting down 32 ounces of Roundup 12.8 ounces of salvo or 24D. We're doing a little burn down on some ground that will likely go into corn if the weather ever cooperates. So it almost looks like a hay field. That's uh, just how much stuff is grown, but not green. Got the drone going on out there. 